Hey everyone, so um, I'm waiting for the little princess and I just wanted to answer a few questions that I had um, sent to me over um, Facebook. So um, somebody had asked because you know everybody's concerned about Voldemort, my Sheltapusik. Um, and so somebody had asked why I didn't just put him back or send him back, release him back into the wild. Um, it's, he is, they are actually from native to Europe and it is extremely bad to release, um, any non-native species, lizards, snakes, frogs, insects, anything that is not native to your area. It's really, really a bad, bad, bad idea to release them into the wild in your area because they can really damage the ecosystem. Um, he is, you know, just to give you an update, he is actually doing much better um, with, I, I've managed to, got, <laughs> I've got like a jar of slugs in like a little kind of farming situation and then um, garden snails and then escargot snails, the really big helix snails. Um, so I should be set um, for the winter months. Also, I went to PetSmart and they told me that they would give me all the pest snails that they get in you know, on their plants and in their fish tanks up frequently. Like they said, just to come in once a week and they would stock me up. So I know that I've got backup with, with him. He should be fine. Um, if I can't get him eating a more domestic diet, at least I have resources who can stock me up on his wild diet. <laughs> so he's not going to starve. I would never let one of my animals starve. I would do whatever it takes to make sure that they are well taken care of. So don't worry about him. Voldemort's going to be fine. Um, I'm just hoping that um, all the other Shelta Pusics that are out there that have been kind of sold into um, possibly beginner homes that they'll do okay. I mean, I've noticed a lot of things with his behavior that are different than what I was told when I purchased him and even different than um, what I've seen on the internet. You know, doing my Googling and my research before purchasing him, um, I see a lot of conflicting information. Um, I have him now in a tank where it is uh, humid on one side and arid on the other side. And just kind of similar to what you would do with a, a leopard gecko because where he, he seems really focused on eating slugs. Um, and in Europe, I should say, um, there are Sheltapusics on the west side and the eastern side, and they have different habitats and different dietary needs. Now, some of them are in the more of a humid zone and some of them are more in an arid zone. So apparently I have one from a more humid area. If you get one and it doesn't wanna eat, you know, the diet that well, what, just go based on it. Let me just say this. Just focus, like try different things and then you can kind of get an idea. Even if the guy who sells it to you doesn't know where the zone, where it was caught, if it's a wild caught, which most of them are, um, you can kind of make a good guess based on their diet. Like mine loves slugs and snails. Well, you're not going to find slugs and snails in a big enough um, number to feed a Sheltapusik or a colony of Sheltapusiks in an arid place like the desert. You're probably not going to find them. So mine is probably from more of a humid zone. So if yours prefers crickets, which would be the closest you could probably find to like grasshoppers and bugs like that, yours may be more from like the arid area. So try to match your, you know, try once you kind of have an idea of where your Sheltapusik is from, then you can kind of match the diet to suit them. And then you can start trying to move them onto a healthier domestic diet, which is what I'm trying to do with Voldemort because wild caught slugs can carry lungworms and all kinds of bad things. And so we do not want to keep him on this if we can avoid it. We will get him onto a domestic diet with uh, animals that I have bred and you know, fed and know what's going into them and that hopefully won't have any parasites. You still sometimes get parasites in domestic animals. Just, it's the nature of the beast. Um, but there are 
you know, uh, <clears throat> things out there that you can use to clean up their system back out. And of course, keep yourself a good exotic vet on hand. Um, so yeah, that's your update on Voldemort. He's going to be fine. He's going to do good. Um, thanks for the questions. And, um, if you have any more questions or anything like that, you can always leave them here in the comments. I love comments. Um, or you can reach me on Facebook or Twitter or any of those other places. So I'm always happy to help out in any way I can. And thanks for watching and I will see you all in my next video.